A wind energy company in eastern Iowa is making big strides with a new turbine that is twice as powerful as the old ones, but their success is coming at a time when their industry is hitting some economic turbulence. Fox 28's Kelsey Miner spoke with Axiona Wind Power today about the future of that business. At Axiona Wind Power, a constant flow of people learn more about wind energy. What you see here is a three megawatt hub. Bill Morgan carried a group through the company's West Branch plant on display the latest turbine, the AW3000. It is double the generating power of a standard turbine and takes a lot of hands and hours to construct. So 1.5 we have, it takes 10 people total from pre-nacelle to pre-hub and final assembly. A 3.0, you're looking at 12 to 14 people and roughly 650 to 750 man hours. While Axiona proudly showed off its newest wind turbine, the AW3000, questions loom on the government's uncertain future for wind energy. It's already caused some companies to lay off workers, but that's not the case for this company. We feel pretty confident in our business for the near future. American wind power companies like Axiona rely on government production tax credits for business. But right now, those tax credits for wind energy are taking a back seat to the country's national debt. One thing Axiona has going for them is the ability to produce large orders in other markets nationwide. We can serve Canadian, Mexican, and other countries' markets, um, which opens up more opportunities for us. With that said, even Axiona knows there's a greater push for wind farms here in the U.S., and they too urge Washington to take heed. Obviously, for any business, we could be growing more if we knew there was going to be a steady, stable investment here. In West Branch, Kelsey Miner, CBS 2 News. Industry experts believe that wind energy in the near future could possibly survive in the open market without tax credit help.